Hey y'all, uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, cleaning up uh, your Ubuntu installation and I made some notes and uh, there's a few things you have to uh, download and it's primarily using the uh, terminal. So here's my uh, virtual box and uh, where are my notes? Clean up. Okay, this is a fairly new installation of Ubuntu and VirtualBox. So uh, the first set of commands are to are built into Ubuntu uh, auto remove auto clean purge and clean which is very aggressive so um, first of all just take this line I'll copy that and open a terminal control alt T and then just paste that in press enter your password and let it do its thing and there's not much here because I said it's a uh, new it's only 33 <laughs> kilobytes but you, it can get to be a lot more there okay uh, another one is uh, D, the dependency orphans so uh, any orphan files so we have to install that so again the uh, copy and paste that in and uh, sudo app get install deb deb orphan and the command here is uh, sudo app get remove dash dash purge uh, deb deb orphan and then a colon this will work and sudo app get auto remove auto remove again again I'm not sure how much is orphaned on this system but we'll see okay two megs I'll take it. Okay, um, now this is a, uh, a neat one, uh, local purge, locale purge, I'm sorry, and that will uh, enable you to remove languages that you don't use in Ubuntu, so just install that, and yeah, usually when you install an Ubuntu, I found that it comes up and runs anyway. If it doesn't, then the command will be uh, sudo uh, locale purge. So you just go down and you want to select what you have with the space bar. So go down to, in my case, it would be English EN US, EN US dot ISO, and UN EN, sorry, English uh, US uh, UTF 8. So and then you can tab press OK. Now, from now on, when you uh, download a package and that's not, and it has other languages uh, that you don't need, local purge, uh, locale, I keep, sorry, but I keep saying the wrong, locale purge will uh, remove those. Usually it does. OK, and um, if you have to reconfigure it, you just uh, sudo dpkg dash reconfigure and then space local purge. So again, this is a it's a, a new install, so there isn't much here to uh, um, clean up. Uh, another one is uh, a GUI is a bleach bit. So I'll copy that and sudo apt dash get install and a uh, control shift v v as in Victor Victor and uh, install that. So we're installing more than we removed, probably. <laughs> I'm kidding. And there, as you can see there, local purge removed the uh, non, uh, the languages that you selected with that locale purge. And in your dash, you can search for bleach bit. Oops. And there's two. There's bleach bleach bit as a regular user or bleach bit as root. So regular user. Um, there's some stuff. Mostly you want to look at your uh, Firefox, like if you want to move the cache or cookies, crash reports, uh, and then vacuum is very good, uh, clean up the database, flash cookies, cache, and the rest I would leave for the administrative one. So say you want to clean the cache and you want your cookies, crash reports, DCCOM, deletes, and that's it. Not very much, again, 10, 10 megabytes. Now let's open the uh, bleach bit admin. So you're going to have to enter a password. So I'll uncheck Firefox completely and we'll do the apt clean. 
but you see it's the same as we did in the command line. Bash history if you wish. Uh, be careful with deep scan. And uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, but if you want to clear the cache. Okay, so 35 or almost 36 megabytes. So close that. Finally, um, Ubuntu Tweak is kind of neat. Uh, so you can add that into a repository. So this line here, copy and paste that in. Enter and enter one more time. And sudo apt get update. sudo apt get install Ubuntu Tweak. And you can right click and paste if you wish. Enter, enter. As you can see again, uh, two megs were cleaned up by locale purge. All right, finally said it right. So we can exit the terminal. We're done with this. We can, uh, I'll leave that for a sec. There's one more thing I want to mention there. Um, you can find Ubuntu tweak through the, the dash, or you can go to your system settings, and it, I think it puts a yeah. There it is. So a little splash screen. And uh, you can start the janitor. You can start, okay, so. You just click apps, Firefox cache, there's nothing there. Personal, uh, forget that. Uh, app cache, look at this already, 1.1 megabyte. Um, old kernel, definitely, if you want to. So you check that. That's uh, 225, nearly 224 megabytes. Package configs, there's five of those, so you select there. Unneeded packages none of those so you just hit clean at the bottom right and type in your password and give it some time to do its thing okay sometimes it does this uh, there's two more clean and then there you go your system is clean you can look through this it's neat there's uh, tweaks you can do and stuff as well and that's it so we'll close this down Lastly, um, if you want, you can do this command, uh, touch, and then uh, <coughs> tilde dot bash underscore aliases, call, uh, semicolon g edit, and the same thing. So copy that, paste, enter. So if you want to add in uh, <coughs> an alias such as this, this first line, you can copy that. You just type in alias, um, clean all equals and then single quotes and then paste that in so now we can type in clean all and it's going to ask you for your password okay so you can always that's that's a quick way of uh, doing all those commands all at once by just typing in a single word all right so that's that's it for this one uh, any questions or comments, feel free to add them. And uh, thanks so much for watching. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.